For some reason, Stardew Valley's biggest controversy is about this cave. Yes, I'm not joking. Stardew Valley's biggest controversy for some reason is whether the Mushroom Cave or the Fruit Bat Cave is better. And whenever it's mentioned, it spawns paragraph long debates in the comments. So if you ever want to troll a Stodge Valley player, just say that the opposing cave option to what they usually pick is better, and watch them get really mad. But what makes this controversy even more dumb is that not only is this whole debate about a small cave, but both cave options suck. So whenever you fight over a Mushroom or Bat Cave, instead of fighting over which god is better, which some of you guys make it seem like you are actually fighting over which garbage bin is better because in the end game they are both completely useless in mid game they are useless and in the early game they can be a little bit helpful but not as helpful as most people make them out to be and at the end of the day you're still fighting over six mushrooms every one to two days versus one piece of fruit every so often so which garbage bin is better well i know this answer isn't going to satisfy all the impatient idiots but there is no definitive answer one is not entirely better than the other. They are both better than each other in certain scenarios, because in the end, it actually comes down to preference and playstyle, which makes a lot of sense on the development end of the game, because there's no point in spending time and effort in making a redundant option. So now, I'm going to be using factual information to determine which cave option is better in specific common scenarios, so which one's better for you, because remember there isn't a one beats all. Also, I'm going to be clearing up some common myths about the caves that people constantly repeat, because it kind of annoys me. So let's start off with the community center. The better option for the community center would probably be fruit bats. If you're doing a first playthrough or you're simply enjoying the game and playing at your own pace, then it doesn't really matter too much. In this casual sense, fruit bats would be better for someone who doesn't have much money to splurge on fruit trees, and the mushroom cave would be better for someone who hates the mines, thus preventing them from finding mushroom floors. Also, for someone who doesn't know how easy it is to get mushrooms in the secret woods or through seasonal foraging. However, if you want to play in a more competitive manner, for example completing the community center center first year, then the fruit bat cave would probably be the better play. The mushrooms needed for the community center bundles are very easy to get in year 1, and getting the appropriate fruits for the community center bundles in year 2 are also very easy. If done correctly, only 2 pomegranates and 3 apples, or 1 pomegranate and 4 apples are needed. Now this is where the main argument for fruit bat cave players come in, because to gain enough pomegranates and apples you need to buy the appropriate saplings, and together these 2 saplings cost 10,000 gold which can be quite a bit of money in the first year, if you don't know what you're doing. However, the traveling card exists, and for a first year community center run to be possible, you need to buy a red cabbage from the traveling card, because Pierre doesn't sell red cabbage seeds until year two. So while you're there checking the traveling car every Friday and Sunday, you can just pick up a single pomegranate for 420 to 1000 gold, whenever it decides to show up, which now means that you need four apples, which will have to come from a purchased apple sapling, which totals to 5420 to 6000 gold, instead of 10,000 gold. So while the fruit bat cave can save you 4000 to 4580 gold on this specific occasion, you still don't have to choose the fruit bat cave. As it is very easy to have way more than this amount of gold by the time you need it. However, the fruit bat cave can still be very helpful if you are lucky enough to get three apples from the bat cave for the photo bundle. Also something I want to quickly talk about are min-maxing runs. With min-maxing runs, I think that mushrooms would be better, as they consistently give you money and energy and a little goes a long way in min-maxing runs. But I'm not completely sure about this. If you want min-maxing advice, you should probably go ask someone like Habu or Brandigan, as I don't have much experience with it. Every Mushroom Cave vs Bat Cave video I ever made has a section in it where they compare the two and see which one makes more money, which is why I'm not going to go into too much detail about the comparison of money in this video, but basically, all these videos made on the topic always end up concluding that mushrooms are more profitable, and this is true. Due to the more consistent and numerous nature of the Mushroom Cave, they always make more money. Even if you turn all the fruit from the Bat Cave into the wine, you still make more money from the mushrooms because of the time it takes to do so. So yes, the Mushroom Cave makes a significant amount of money more than the fruit bat cave. However, people who use this reasoning for why the mushroom cave is better as their only argument aren't technically wrong, but their arguments are heavily flawed. Because long story short, the mushroom cave actually doesn't make very much money. Like, in terms of numbers, 3 is more than 1, but 3 is still a small number. If you say this type of thing is a ha ha funny joke, then whatever, that's cool I guess. But if you say this because you believe it's actually a good argument point, then do you know what you are? You're a fool. 
because as I said, both caves become redundant after the early game, and to access Ginger Island you need to complete the community center, which would put you somewhere in mid to end game, because at this stage of the game there is zero reason for you to need a constant supply of mushrooms, and the Ginger Island mushroom cave is inconsistent at best. If you need a mushroom at this stage in the game, then legit just go to your chest and grab it, it's not that hard. Also, I see a lot of people online that are like, but mushroom cave gives me life elixir, so it must be useful mid to end game, right guys? Well, not really. Life elixirs can be very useful in the early game because you only need level 2 combat to make them, and they restore 200 energy and 89 health and only 1 consumption. However, if you're in mid to end game already, then you should have way more than enough money for a constant supply of salads, or you should have a constant supply and backlog of gold quality cheese. Another thing you have to remember is that getting life elixirs from the mushroom cave are very inconsistent, because out of the 4 ingredients you need, all 4 of them have less than a 13% chance to spawn. Three of them have less than a 10% chance to spawn, and one of them literally has a 2.5% chance to spawn. So as I said, by now, you should be packing on the salads or the gold cheese, whatever one you prefer. So now I'm going to move on to the why would you choose section, where I list the pros of each option and say why you would choose them. Why you would choose a fruit bat cave. If you are sick of fruit trees, like you don't have the money for them or whatever, if you want an easier run for the community center, again fruit trees, you don't like buying them for some reason, or you like the fact that you can just leave the fruit bat cave for an entire month and suffer no repercussions, then the fruit bat cave is for you. Now why would you choose the mushroom cave? If you like decorating your farm easier, because apparently the mushroom cave is easier to decorate, if you like the fact that it makes slightly more money than the fruit bat cave, if you like life elixirs in early game which can help you out a lot, which will eventually become useless to salads and gold cheese in the mid to end game. If you're having trouble getting rare mushrooms because you for some reason hate the mines, or if you like the consistency of their spawning rate, then pick the mushroom cave. I just want to reiterate that just because I could think of more reasons why mushrooms are good does not make it better, because the quality of the reason may change depending on who you are and how you play the game. If you have any more reasons to why you pick your cave that I didn't list in the video, then comment it down below. If you've ever seen a relatively large discussion on the fruit bat cave versus mushroom cave debate, then you will notice two things. The first thing is that the mushroom cave is the more popular option to take, and the second thing is that the majority of the people in the comments and the majority of the people typing up paragraph long storms about why this site is better are the fruit bat cave people. But why is this? Well, it's called a vocal minority. The mushroom cave people see that their choice is the most voted choice, and they go, yeah, that looks about right, and they go along with their day. Whereas the fruit bat cave people see that their choice isn't the most popular one, like they thought it would be, so they leave a comment on why they picked the fruit bat cave or whatever, before eventually moving on. But again, why is this? Why are mushrooms clearly the more popular option out of the two? Well, I believe this is something to do with the once king of Stodgy Valley. Dangerously Funny. On the 12th of October 2017, Dangerously Funny posted a video called Mushrooms vs Bats, Who Will Win? And long story short, DF tells his audience that the mushroom cave is better. And back in the day, if you had a question about the game, then you would go to DF's channel to get it answered. Like he was that guy. And it's not even like a back of my day thing because DF's video about the mushroom vs fruit bat cave topic has over 1 million views, which dwarfs the views of any other video on the same topic. And it has also been out a couple years longer than almost any other cave guide. Like when you want advice on a game, are you going to click on the video that has a couple thousand views made by a tiny channel, or are you going to click on the video with a million views that has a good dislike to like ratio that is from a YouTuber with close to 2 million subs? This whole video I've analysed both options from an objective and unbiased standpoint, but the thing is, if you want to play more than a couple hours of Stardew Valley, then you are forced to choose between the two. So some of you people may be wondering what I choose. Well, I choose the Mushroom Cave. I enjoy the routine of getting mushrooms from the cave every day or two, I don't mind paying for fruit trees as by the time I need them I have way more than enough money needed for them, even in year 1 community center runs. I like the consistent energy supply I gained from them, and I have just always chosen them, even before DF published his infamous Mushroom Cave vs Fruit Bat Cave video. Although, this video probably did help to cement my Mushroom Cave ideology at the time that I watched it. Thank you to my channel members, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me to fix up this terrible not subscribe to subscriber ratio. Bye well subscribing. <laughs>